What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new series I'm doing on my channel guys, Road to France. Basically what it is, it is a road to gold in FIFA 15. In FIFA 14 I had Road to Brazil, um, which guys if you've watched that, really, really appreciate coming back and hopefully this Road to France should be another exciting series. Basically what it is, is a traditional Road to Gold with my own slight twist on it. Um, basically we're going to start off with this silver non-rare squad you can see on the screen now. I just call them off the market, random French players and stuff like that as we flick through. Then, depending on the results of the games, will depend whether we upgrade or downgrade the players. To upgrade, obviously, you have to win. To groundgrade, we'll have to um, lower the player card rating. So, if we have a goal, we're playing for a goal player, should I say. We lose, we will have to downgrade the card we were going to go for. Um, so, um, the squad, we're just flicking through the silver non-rest squad. And, um, basically, like I said, if we win a game, we get to upgrade only one of the players. We have to set that player before the game, which you should see up on the border right now on the screen. So, as you can see, the next player we're going to go for, the very first game of this new series, is going to be this player here, Pione, which is a goalkeeper. And, um, it, well, if we win the game, we get to put him in the squad. If we lose, us, if we lose the game, in theory, we should downgrade, but we can Cannot downgrade any further from that silver non-rare squad. So um, it kind of gives me a chance because I mainly play in seasons just so I can get the coins uh, to be able to make this squad a bit better. As well as, it's, I just find seasons a lot more fun because um, you've actually got a goal. Um, but the only problem is you sometimes do come up against some stupidly, ridiculously powerful goal teams. And coming up with some bronze players and stuff like that in that doesn't quite work. So I thought this is going to give me my best. It's going to be difficult still, but it's going to give me a better... Um, better possibility of actually winning against some of the better teams. So we cannot downgrade any further than that team, but um, we can downgrade once we get into some of the goal players and stuff like that. Later on the series, you'll get it, guys, so make sure you subscribe. But we're going to go straight into the first game of this episode and of the series. And as you can see, I'm loving the fact you can now buy international kits and badges put that onto the club, and the French clips are looking very, very nice, actually. Uh, but um, I got the luck of the draw and came up against a basically a starter squad in seasons, which I was pretty happy about. So hopefully this is going to put us on to a banging start for the Road to France series, guys. So um, I really enjoyed playing the Road to Brazil. I just like the fact that you can play with some silver players, find out some hidden talents, and also progress, and just find and uh, use a lot of players in this series, and also um, have some fun with it. So um, as you can see there, Bayer Beck, one of our strikers, the PSG youngster, Puts us in the lead there with a very, very nice finish. And he is actually proving to be a fantastic striker. He then goes and picks up the second. And I was pissed. The goalkeeper, Pooplin, I thought he really should have saved that. That's the reason why we're going for the keeper. Uh, but uh, another over-the-top ball from our player there. And uh, Cavalli, I think it is, a cam nods that over the top of the keeper and it's one of those goals that you expect to see from goal um sorry bronze players center backs and stuff like that but um there's another mistake from myself the keeper and i was just getting pissed at the keeper he was getting straight out of the squad if we'd win this game but it's 2-2 here Bybeck picks up a free kick and look at that absolute beauty from him and um, fantastic finish indeed and this is when i started feeling the squad i was getting used to it and i started really really enjoying this game you'll find out later why because this game has got some very, very good goals in it, should I say. But um, like that, that's going to be my first free kick of the series. First episode. And it's a fantastic free kick indeed as well. A lovely curler from him right into the far right-hand side of the goal. But uh, some fantastic work there. And look at that for an absolute screamer. I didn't know what was going on with these silver players. Yes, I know the keeper is a bronze keeper. But still, that was an outrageous drop. Okay. That's just ridiculous. But Bayer here goes and puts another one in with a fantastic finish. So we then put it to 5-2 there. And um, he picks up a, uh, I believe that was a corner. Find the ball over the top ball. And look at this. Moment of silence, please. Just, oh my God. I just scored that. This is the first game I played with this squad. First game on this count. And I was putting in absolute worldies into the back of the net. Some fantastic finishes. And this team, I was just having so much fun with in this game. I was literally just taking long shots for days, guys. And, um, guys, you know when each FIFA has a bit, some kind of way of scoring which is a bit OP? FIFA 15, in my opinion, has to be the long shots. They are ridiculously powerful if you get them spot on. Um, just some practice. Just keep bashing them from mid out, far away, as far as you want. And hopefully one will eventually go in and... Um, you score some absolute belters, but as you can see, we're just going to go through all the replays, and um, I, I just couldn't believe it. Literally, I literally stood up, walked out my room, and had to come back to double check because I could not believe he just scored that. Because I literally just 
pulled that trigger, smacked that into the back, and that fantastic finish indeed. Um, we then go and make it 7-2 there in the 90th minute, and that was the end result. As you can see here, I had more possession, more shots, and probably deserved that. And with some absolute worldies like that, I was pretty happy about that game indeed, guys. Um, definitely recommend the two strikers up top. And some of the players I've got in this team are very, very good. But uh, this time for a brand new upgraded play. And obviously, this is going to be the goalkeeper. That's what I felt where the main weak spot is. Um, Pooplin, or think it, I don't even know what the keeper is called. He was absolute poop, basically. He was so bad in goal. I just didn't want him. Uh, so I thought this 74 rated gold, uh, sorry, silver not rare player, 750 coins hopefully should do the job, some very very good stats across the board as well, and as you can see we're going to go for the next player of the player called Dosivi um, a right mid, and um, I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing the name of the right mid we've got at the moment, because he's got the longest name in FIFA, I think uh, but um, he again wasn't doing it for me I just didn't think he was getting down the wing enough and I thought this guy would be a good alternative to have there, and hopefully provide some more force down that right hand side, so Come against Toulouse AS, and again, a kind of a bit more advanced from a starter squad. He's got the likes of Shea Long, Fabian Delp, um, Yanazai, um, Fernando, um, some gold players, and the rest of them are probably bronze. So he's sort of slowly working there, but Shane Long is always a very, very good, strong player to have up top. And I'm, I'm always kind of annoyed when I come up against him because I know he's a very, very good, solid player. Uh, but uh, this ball's bobbling around, and... Uh, of Leon Zuma, that is not actually Kurt Zuma's, that is Kurt Zuma's brother, sorry. Um, Kurt Zuma is actually going for an absolute fortune. I didn't have the coins, but we do go and make it 1-0 there. Um, Shane Long, like I said, he's a bit of a threat up top, guys. Definitely, definitely recommend him if you ha don't have a lot of coins. Uh, but uh, that made it 1-1 here. Bayerbeck doing some powerful running, a very, very strong, fast player, and uh, bangs that into the back, and let's go and make that 2-1 there. Then moving to the 37th minute here, and um, he's doing some work, and I just couldn't shut this guy down. He kept coming in, kept coming in, probably should have closed him down, before he got into the box, but does a very, very nice finish to go and make that 2-2. A fantastic through ball into Rivier here, and he's going to do a fantastic near post finish to go and make that 3-2 there in the 69th minute. Straight from kickoff, though, we get that ball. Um, get fairly lucky for that ball to fall into the path by Beck there. No player is tracking him. Goes past the keeper, and a lovely, lovely finish indeed to go and make that 4-2. By Beck, an outstanding strike, guys. Definitely, definitely recommend it. But look at that for a bit of a worldy of a volley there. Um, out from a corner, half body, and he just smacks us into the back of there. But fortunately, we won there 4-3. Yes, he did score a very, very good goal. But um, as you can see there, I had more shots. He had more possession. It could have gone either way, to be fair. We were very, very good. Um, in theory, I probably should have won it in the sense that I had more chemistry. Um, but um, he was a strong player, especially with the likes of Shane Long, always providing a threat up top. Uh, but that means we can upgrade another player, the right mid. And... Um, the CV plays, I think it is, in the Greek League, I think it is, off the top of my head. I'm not too sure on that one. Um, but um, hopefully should do the job out on that right-hand side. And as you can see, the next player we're going to go for is the Cam Ezerik. Yes, I know the Cam we currently have at the moment is scored a bit of a worldie in the very first game. But uh, since then, he hasn't really done much. I thought this guy here, um, Ezerik, 74 rated play. He's got some fantastic stats to get across the board there and looks like he could be a very very good threatening player in that cam spot so hopefully we can go and play for him and see if we can win this game make it three out of three for the very very first episode guys if we do that you've got to go and hit that like button but um we're getting into the game here took some time to get some kits uh this guy was having none of the kits we eventually got to a good compromise playing with the french white kit there and uh, come against this team here hammers the opponent and um, he's got all gold players eric Mel lamella sorry who scored a bit of a Beastly Rabana kick in the um, UEFA the other day. Uh, I don't know what was going on there, but um, he hasn't got a lot of chemistry. So that's where I thought I could pip him um, in the sense that the chemistry is really, really important, guys. If you're new to FIFA, you've got to get that chemistry up before you start winning or doing well in games. But um, he's going to put the first one in the back of the net with Eric Lamella there. Um, fairly frustrating. Keeper did a nice save. But look at that for a shot from our CDM there. Um, unfortunately, that comes off the woodwork. But Sive here in his first game and scores a fantastic finesse shot indeed. Definitely, definitely happy with that purchase. And uh, that goes and makes it 1-1. Um, but um, we're going to find a lovely, lovely through ball by Mech. Uh, by Bexory and Rivier work fantastically well together. Both fantastic players and work very, very well. But that made it 2-1 and then a lofted over the top ball from my goalkeeper. Get fairly lucky because I'm not too sure if he wasn't playing or he's just, I'm, I'm not too sure because he must have been selected on the wrong player. Rivier uses his strength, somehow gets that ball into the back from there to go and make that 3-1 there. CDM here, Van Queer, I think it is. Um, this guy is a very, very good player. Very good stats across the board and he can do some very, very nice finishing with a 
another outside of the box, top of the corner long shot there. And that means we can upgrade three out of three this episode, guys. So make sure you go and click that like button. And we can put three upgrades, guys, into the squad. So we're going to go and put the cam in when we get into the squad. But as you can see there, I have more possession, more shots as well. So probably deserved the victory. But um, like I said, chemistry is key. And um, that's probably the reason why that guy lost. But um, as you can see there, we are slowly going into some of the silver pl rare players. And once we complete the whole silver rare squad, we can then move on to gold non-rare. And then um, again and again until we get into some of the best squads we can build. Uh, but... Um, it's going very, very well so far, and I'm really, really happy with it. And um, we seem to be winning games, and I thought this squad was going to be quite hard. Normally, it's kind of quite hard to get, get used to it or come up against some. Yes, I've been coming up some against not the hardest of opponents, shall I say. But that is because I'm on a brand new, fresh account and playing um, just started playing the seasons. But still, I seem to be doing very, very well with this squad, having a lot of fun, scoring some fantastic finishes as well, guys. So make sure you hit that like button for three wins, plus some worldies of a short Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned to this series, and any feedback in the comments really much. I appreciate you guys. This has been Karaj, until next time, adios!